The next topic is data analysis. In this video, we like to answer questions like what does analysis do? Uh, what is the purpose of data analysis? And so forth. Okay. So data analysis has um, four main steps, which includes um, getting the data. And actually getting the data is one of the most difficult tasks uh, you can do. Nevertheless, uh, let's assume that we already have the data. Uh, once you obtain the data, you move on to uh, preparing and cleaning the data. So normally when you get data from the source, it's not necessarily uh, nicely formatted for you to just move on to processing them. So normally you will involve a step where you will pre-process it so that it's nice structured. Uh, where your program can easily interpret um, and extract information from it. Once that is done, then this is where we finally analyze and find different patterns associated with the data that we just obtained. Uh, and finally, we can visualize and present those patterns um, to other users through different visualization techniques. So this one, we're more focused on step three. And out of that, we are going to be looking particularly on um, array formulas. And in the next video, we'll look at some visualization, which will be part of step four. So other than step one, any of the steps uh, from two to four can be managed with an Excel to a certain degree. Um, so this requires us to uh, import data from external sources and poss possibly uh, export it um, uh, once we finished formulating or processing. Okay. So we're going to look at importing the data. Um, Excel allows us to import the data in a couple of ways. Okay. The first one is you still haven't answered. Um. Okay, so yeah, so some of those will fall into uh, the following um, answers that I have. So one, you can type it directly into the Excel. Two, you can copy and paste from a, another program. Three, uh, open it directly in Excel using file open. Four, you can also use the import data wizard, which allows you to convert some of the non-Excel data uh, and import it into Excel. So we're going to have a look at that. Let's have a look at how the interface is uh, laid out. So if you go to the data tab, it has uh, data ribbon. It has the uh, from text or from access or from web and a bunch of options, right? So you just have to select the appropriate one. And once you select it, it gives you an option uh, to decide what kind of format um, it's using. So let's have a look at that now. Excel. Uh, so here's the Excel. I'm going to create a new tab, a new sheet. Okay. And you go to the data, data ribbon and I have external data. And I'm going to be testing with the text, but of course you can use other ones, which allows you to uh, establish that. Okay. So it asked me to select the text document, um, which I will get it. So here's my first test. So this one has been uh, formatted already uh, using tabs. So I'm just going to use the default uh, format that it has and then I'm going to press next and then it allows you to select which delimiter uh, it has been used but in this case I have used tab in my word file so I just leave that as is and this also shows you the preview how it will look like if you use the selected delimiter so if I say select comma and unselect tab suddenly um, it's going to lose um, uh, the separation that I had before. Okay, so I'm going to use the tab again, press next. Okay. 
and also it allows you to select uh, the data type. Uh, in this case, I could convert the columns data type to some other things, but I'm just going to leave them as is and press finish. And I'm going to just copy it onto the existing worksheet, which I'm looking at, press OK. Then it successfully imported um, as what we see here. Okay, so I'm going to just delete this. Okay, um, let me just show you the other example. So I'm going to show you the other example. Okay, so this was the original file that I was using, which was already separated. Uh, by a tab. So this is quite easy to do, but not all the time that data will be entered using tabs. So this is our second example where data has been entered by separating um, using comma. And actually using the CSV file, comma separate file, um, is quite uh, frequent, easy to store data. Uh, by removing all the macros and whatnot. So comma can be used to separate data quite often as well. So this one, we're going to import it into Excel now. So here, get external data from text, the second one. And again, this one is delimited. Uh, you can also define by fixed width, uh, but this is not in the case. So I go to next. Obviously, tab is not the one that we want to use instead. We press comma. We don't have any tabs, so this is not going to affect us. So again, we can see that it's going to separate it nicely as we expect. You can define uh, the data type here. And then I'm going to just chuck it onto the sheet. Then we can see that it's going to put in uh, nicely for us uh, from text file where the data was separated by comma into individual cells nicely done in Excel. Okay, so I will just get rid of this one. All right, so we'll come back to that. So that's how you import um, data into Excel. Uh, that's part of step two. So hopefully now that by inspecting through some of the other external data, you are able to import them into Excel and use them for data analysis and visualization. But do note that not all external data comes nicely, uh, such as the examples that I have used uh, here, either using tabs or commas. So you may have to look carefully about how the raw data is structured and make sure that uh, it comes up, it gets exported into Excel the way you want them to. Okay? So do always check when you're dealing with um, uh, unstructured data.